What's going on, my crypto friends? It's your friend Jack here. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the fun stuff, the bear market. Is it almost over? What's going on? And what do I think is happening right now as a completely uneducated opinion from my mom's basement? That being said, let's get into the video. Now, if you're not already aware, which you probably are, that's why you're watching this video, cryptocurrencies in general, and although my channel mainly focuses on Cardano, crypto in general is down a lot, especially Cardano. And it's interesting to see right now how the effect of the price movement to the downside has changed entire market sentiment. Along with this, we have a lot of other things going on in the world which affect this. And this is not a, you know, one thing, one cause is one action. And every single thing about the market going down is one event's fault. But there is some interesting things to look at here when we see the sentiment of the market currently. And although there's always different conditions to look at, it's interesting to see that right now, everyone's pretty depressed. We went through that stage of panic, of fear, of agony, and everyone's just sad, you know, down in the dumps or disinterested right now. Not necessarily uncertain, optimistic, except for the people building. Investors right now are somewhat, what I, from what I can tell, and this is obviously me at this point guessing uh, and from what i can see on my eco chamber of a bubble on twitter and in other parts of the world in terms of emotion people are sad they're just interested and that's usually when we start heading towards a market peak now could this be happening yes could it also not be happening yes but the reason i'm pointing this out is because it just shows you how no one really knows what's going to happen next. I could say, hey, we're going to go to a market peak here uh, after we get through these phases. I don't have to say how long each of these phases takes. And eventually when we get there, I could just say, yeah, everyone's enthusiastic and euphoric. Therefore, my model was right. And we're out of the bear market. You're welcome. Another kind of same thing, same concept is this, right? It's the same thing, right? There's hope, there's disbelief. Um, there's the depression we're in right now and all the emotions people are feeling going up to the peaks, the market peaks, the market lows. And I do think we went through that anger, that panic, that denial phase uh, quite a while ago. I don't know if this cycle of crypto is going to be an extended cycle, you know, if it's going to be the standard four years. Really, it's hard to tell with everything new that has come into crypto in the past year and all the new investors engaging these things based off past events is nearly impossible and really we're just gonna have to go with the flow and see how this plays out to be honest focusing majorly on cardano and seeing it back at 82 cents when i first got into it a year ago it was at around two dollars canadian or a dollar 55 my average buy price for cardano usd it is interesting okay it doesn't hurt that much because the reason I've invested in crypto is to protect my money from the banks, governments, and also to invest in something that I believe in long term. I'm not really a trader. I'm not really someone who's going to get too caught up in these little price dumps because I believe long term in Cardano. Could I be wrong? Yes. But also, to me, the reward for being right on that and also my conviction in it is strong enough where it doesn't bother me when we dip like this too much. I'll be honest, though. I am not immune to these emotions as an investor. Things get disinteresting and things get depressing, especially when price goes down. And not only are you not as interested, but everyone around you is not pushing to be as interested and as involved as they once were when they were making loads and loads of money or the numbers on their bank account or the numbers on their crypto portfolio were euphorically high. Because most people, including me, did not cash out. The purpose was to invest in this long term. I didn't really want to make a quick profit, so I didn't cash out. And a lot of people think it's going to go higher, so they didn't cash out. Time in the top is difficult. And pretty much not everyone and 99% of people are not going to be able to do it. A lot of it is luck. But with that being said, the people who didn't cash out, their portfolios are now down, you know, 70 plus percent depending on what they had in their portfolio. And it definitely doesn't feel good if you've only been in crypto for a year or a year and a half, and you're seeing the prices less than when you entered, and it's been that amount of time. 
Sadly, I can't make you any predictions with my magic crystal ball that are going to come true tomorrow and just be, okay, yeah, okay, Cardano, don't worry, it's going to $4 by the end of the year, just hold. Uh, Bitcoin, don't worry, it's going to 100 k by the end of the year, just hold. That was kind of how it was last year or just a few months back when everyone was still thinking 100 k Bitcoin, 100 k Bitcoin, 100 k Bitcoin in 2021. Now, myself, I thought it was possible too, and it was, but right now, seeing us at 38 k and seeing everyone's hope drains uh, from their sentiments and emotions, it does remind me of this cycle. And I do think we're going to get back to this stage at some point. Inevitably, the markets will recover um, unless some black swan comes in, which I don't think it will. But who really knows? No one really knows. Isn't that the fun in investing in the crypto markets? Because although no one knows uh, where we're going to go next, the thing is, where we do go in crypto is much more risk tolerated sorry un untolerated risk or people are getting risky but it's also a lot more rewarding when things hit big and it can be life-changing now me as someone who's 22 years old i can take these risks no problem blah 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 and i am going to be okay if it all goes to zero you might not be able to say that for yourself. And if you can't, please, please be careful. I'm not a financial advisor, but I would say one thing. Investing more than you can afford to lose is probably never going to help you sleep at night. I'll be honest, I've gotten quite a bit of people into crypto from my real life world during the peaks of the bull market, during the you know past few months when everything's going down they are not as you know aware of what's going on and i'm not even that aware of what's going on because i don't know everything that moves the market it's just impossible to track that being said there's never really a great time to get in or get out especially as a new investor and my long-term vision this whole time has been to hold high conviction investments for five plus years and that's what i'm sticking to although i am going to make videos on short-term price action from time to time and what i think is going on in the market behind the scenes pretty much day by day i am just holding and trying to build and educate people on crypto and in the cardano ecosystem before i go today i want to reiterate i am not a magic crystal ball i don't know all the answers and also all these things that we're seeing you know, hope, optimism, disbelief, depression, all these market sediments, I go through too. And especially so in life, things are going to be worse. Sometimes things are going to be better. I had to take a break from videos, which I haven't done in over a year for a few days because of all of this. And I'm not going to say, hey, everything is peachy and rosy. But I do think that long term, I've had high conviction in Cardano and in crypto for a long time. And that has not broken. If it ever does, I'll let you know. But for the long term, things are looking good. Things are looking strong. And on a fundamental level, I think now is the best time to get in and get your hands dirty and start using these protocols for what they're actually meant to be used for. That's it for the video today. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you guys have a great freaking day. I'll see you in the next one. It's been your friend Jack. Peace out.